That's a base hit. Just passed Altuve into right field. First hit of the night for the Tampa Bay Rays comes with one out here in the seventh inning and oh so close for Jose Altuve. I'm Matt Wehmeyer with the MLB.com FastCast. Astros top pitching prospect Jared Cozart was masterful in his major league debut on Friday, giving up just two hits over eight plus scoreless frames in a 2-1 win over the Rays. Cozart took a no-hitter into the seventh and pitched into the ninth, but was optioned to AAA Oklahoma City following the game. The Marlins erased an early three-run deficit by plating five in the first and two more in the second, all off Steven Strasburg in an 8-3 win over the Nationals. Strasburg yielded five hits, four walks, and those seven earned runs in just two innings of work. Bronson Arroyo tossed seven innings of one-run ball in the Reds' 4-2 doubling of the Braves. A day after losing Jason Hayward to a strained hamstring, both Upton brothers left Friday night's game with injuries. BJ in the first with a right adductor muscle strain, and Justin in the seventh with a strain in his left calf. Jordy Mercer, Mercer me, walks it off and raised the Jolly Roger in 11. The Pirates walked off winners 3-2 over the Mets in 11 innings. Jordy Mercer's seeing eye single was the difference for the Bucks. The Yankees played it two in the bottom of the fifth following an hour and 13 minute rain delay to clip the Twins 2-0. Prior to the game, the Yankees announcing Friday that Derek Jeter has a grade one strain in his right quadriceps and will not return until after the All-Star break. Pedroia gives the Red Sox a 4-2 lead. Dustin Pedroia's tie-breaking two-run single in the eighth inning was good enough to propel Boston past Oakland 4-2. The Red Sox acquired left-handed reliever Matt Thornton from the White Sox on Friday in exchange for minor league outfielder Brandon Jacobs. The Orioles defeated the Blue Jays 8-5 thanks in part to home runs from the club's three All-Stars, Adam Jones, J.J. Hardy, and Chris Davis, who raised his major league leading home run total to 35. Diving catch by Pollock to save the day. The Diamondbacks held off the Brewers 2-1. Patrick Corbin struck out 10 over 6 and 2 thirds, but it was A.J. Pollock's eighth inning catch with the bases loaded that was the difference for Arizona. The Tigers scored seven runs in the opening two frames to beat the Rangers 7-2. The scoring was highlighted by ribby doubles from Torrey Hunter and Victor Martinez, while Johnny Peralta added a two-run double and a five-run first. Make it now number 24 for Raul Abanez. Raul Abanez went deep twice in the Mariners' 8-3 win over the Angels, giving him 24 home runs in a season for the first time since 2009. The Rockies flanked the Dodgers 3-0 thanks to seven shutout innings from Juan Nicasio. Yasio Puig started despite his sore left hip, but left the game in the fourth as a precaution. Buster Posey collected five RBIs as the Giants routed the Padres 10-1, ending San Diego at 17th loss in 20 games. Corey Kluber befuddled the Royals in a 3-0 Indians triumph, striking out eight over seven and two-thirds innings. The Cardinals slipped past the Cubs 3-2. Carlos Beltran finishing a home run shy of the cycle in the win. And the Phillies and White Sox were washed out on Friday. The game will be made up as game two of a day-night doubleheader on Saturday. For complete highlights from all the action on Friday, stay locked into MLB.com. It's baseball everywhere.